Yo, what is going on guys? Gia here. Good morning and welcome to another legendary animal hunting video. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at taking out the legendary moose, which is really north on the map. As always, before we roll the actual gameplay footage of the hunt, we're going to look at our rewards. Now, the reason I do that, as I always say, is so you guys can prioritize the order in which you want to hunt these legendary animals based off the rewards that you get. So, as always, we're going to go to Saint Denis because our trapper and fence are next to one another. And we're going to trade in the moose antler for the moose antler trinket. Now, all these trinkets and talismans are really good. Um, this one is going to increase your health experience bonus by 10%. So that is really cool. That may be something that others choose to prioritize over some other things that players set out for. And then heading to the animal trapper, we can trade in our moose pelts and as always, make clothing. Once you sell the pelts of said legendary animal, those pelts will be in the ingredient list for crafting. So as you can see here in the stalker set, we can make the moose hunting jacket and probably the sickest boots I've seen in the game, the moose moccasins. But as we could tell, we need the additional ingredients to go ahead and pick those up. So make sure that you do everything and hunt all these animals. So now, as always, with all that being said, we're going to roll the gameplay footage of the actual hunt. And this is the den of the legendary moose. Now, this is going to be one of the few videos that I commentate over its entirety because I want to note something really important when actually hunting this animal. As you can see here, this is the waypoint location marker for the first clue. Now, if this doesn't come up because I noticed this one's a bit wonky, you need to leave the area and then sleep 24 hours. Come back in and make sure you get the notification that you've entered legendary animal territory and then rinse and repeat it. So come back here and see if it appears then for you. Because like I said, it is a bit weird, this one. And it may work that way for other animals as well. So when watching my videos, if something doesn't come up, just do that. So we're going to go ahead and inspect the trail here. And like I said, I'm going to commentate over this whole video. My loadout, as I always go over, I went ahead and I used a repeater rifle, the Lancaster rifle with the high velocity rounds. Now, the reason why I did that is because we're going to use Deadeye. And not everyone knows how to use Deadeye properly. For the longest time, I remember, I was using Deadeye wrong. But it turns out I was using it in a manner in which you can consume less of your bar by just getting one shot off per target, meaning you shoot, you deadeye, I got bit by a snake there, how awesome is that? You shoot, you deadeye, you shoot, you deadeye, but you can actually mark one target multiple times in deadeye. So for those of you who don't know how to do that, you're gonna wanna do it against this moose, okay. just because I went ahead and used a sniper rifle and it took three shots to the head for me to kill it. And I said to myself, let me reload and see if I can do something a little better that's more efficient and ensures the one instance kill. So you can study an animal by scoping in and that was also something that I learned. Again, just going through these hunts, I'm uploading my journey with you guys. So being that I studied the legendary moose and this was my second go at it, I said to myself, all right, well, let me see what the recommended weapons are. So by going to your progress, and your compendium, however you say that, <laughs> you can tab over and then you can click on the legendary moose and then it'll elaborate on what you can use. A bow with improved arrows, I honestly don't recommend that. If a sniper with high velocity rounds didn't work well, I wouldn't use the bow. And then it recommends a long range rifle. So for me, I went ahead and said, all right, should I shoot it? and try one more time, I told myself no. And then I went ahead and said, all right, I'm gonna try the Lancaster repeater and this is where I want you guys to pay attention and we'll rewind it and do it again so that way you guys can comprehend it. Now I'm on PS4. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to a medium range, I'm gonna dead eye and I'm gonna click my R1 button, the button under your shooting button, I'm on PlayStation 4. And I'm gonna tap R1 multiple times and then shoot. And as you can see there, within that one little instance, I'm gonna rewind that back. And then do it again, right here. So in this one little instance, I'm able to mark the moose multiple times, and then I can go ahead and take him out. So R1, 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 and then shoot. 
so that way all those shots go out within this one little instance and then take it out that is the best way of hunting this animal hands down what I recommend so we're gonna skin this guy up I'm gonna close out the commentary here I really hope you guys enjoy this I'm gonna make this an official series so there's a playlist on my channel definitely feel free to subscribe to the channel for more and leave a like on this video if it helped you because it definitely helps my channel out significantly this has been Gia Quinto I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend later